Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So you've probably seen from the thumbnail and the intro for the video, we're back on to the Mercedes CLA estate. So in today's video, we're going to be, if you haven't seen the first video on the car, it was just a reveal video. So if you want to go back, you'll see all the damages the car's got. So in today's video, we're going to be tearing down the damage on the side, which is both doors. We've got some replacements. So we're going to be swapping bits we need to go onto the new doors and getting them all on. So I just wanted to say one thing, what we're gonna make a couple of changes to the channel. You probably, you lot might not notice, but you will notice because there'll be more videos more often. So basically, previously we used to, let's say on a Saturday morning, we'll be filming from half seven in the morning till around about four or 5 p.m. I would then go home and then edit the videos to post that same day. Honestly, that is quite hard when we work outside weather for example wind and rain so what we're doing now we're going to be this is what we've done on this mercedes so last week's video today's video and we've got another video next week that's all pre-recorded um which means i can put videos out more often so, so some days now we might be able to get two or three videos filmed in one day and i can edit them one per week for example so also lot so this is this part of the clip is live now, Friday the 20th of May. We did buy a car last, well, we won it last Tuesday at Copart and Santoft. I'm sure it was Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Got it then recovered to my house last Friday. So it's been at my house a week. I've been going around getting all the parts, as you can see here. So the plan is as well, I've, we've got today's video on the Mercedes. We've got next week's video. Then that's ready to go to the body shop when that's at the body shop and then can start posting videos of the new car vice versa so that is what's going to be changing so hopefully we can get some more videos onto the channel because it's not easy me and pete well i'm a alt site tester for network rail i'm permanent nights and so is pete and we've both got kids so this is you know a part-time hobby should i say on youtube we're not full-time youtubers one last thing so we've finally got a instagram account dedicated for the youtube channel i know i should have done that a long time ago i was just being lazy so that's nathan underscore highly so if you wanted to dm us you can on there and also there'll be sneak peeks on the account and also some content that will be just for instagram and not for youtube one and one more thing let us know in the comments what you think the new car will be that will be on the channel very soon so enough of the waffle let's get cracking on with the mercedes so just before we get on time lapse me and pete managed to get the door open and some good news just like the range rover evoke we repaired that had side damage no damage to the b pillar or the a pillar so we've got lucky again yeah, so we're going to start with the front door first. Got to do the wiring harness and obviously the, the hinges to get this door removed. We've just removed this uh, plastic trim just to show you. So all, most, most cars, the wiring harness for the door literally will unplug from this area on the A-post. But on this, those wires go all the way through to this area. So we've got to unplug these two wires pull the harness through and then do the hinges. So now we've got the wiring harness undone and come out the feed hole from the car. I'm gonna put it on time-lapse, but there isn't a good camera angle to actually show you what we're doing because obviously we need to hold the door and unbolt it. So we're just gonna undo the, the bolt that's underneath the hinge from the door. And then you've got a top one on the lower. We have got new hinges that come with the door, but just for now, we're just gonna undo it from here. Just makes it easier. So that's the driver's front door now removed. So we can have a closer look together at the posts. So the B post just here, there is no damage at all. Same as the lower, the sill part just here and the A post. So personally, I would say me and Pete's got very lucky again 
as we do bid on these cars blind as we don't have enough time to go and view all the cars we want to bid on. So here's the new replacement driver's front door. When I say new, it is a second hand item, but it's a genuine panel. So we're quite lucky the seller had both doors in body color, in good condition. So we went and picked them up ourselves in case they got damaged if they got delivered. But we do need to make a couple of changes to the front door. So the obviously the door lock barrel, we need to swap over from ours onto this door. The silver trim just here, ours is black, but that did get damaged on our door. So we need to order a replacement. It also come with the power folding mirror. So we just need to get the case painted black to match the passenger side. One thing we did just check a second ago, the door wiring harness. They are both exactly the same part numbers. So if you if you did watch the channel with the Evoke build, we had to swap all the harnesses, etc. With this door, we do not need to, so that's one less job. But we have noticed the door cards are different. So you'll see now, this is our original door. The door card has red stitching and an Alcantara insert. The new door has white stitching with a leather insert. So we just need to swap over the door cards. So now we've got the driver's front door off, we will be taking the rear door, which is exactly the same. Remove the wiring harness. Then we'll go for the bolt on underneath this hinge and on the lower one, it's on top of the hinge. So we'll get that removed now. As we showed you the removal of the front harness, we'll show you the rear door harness now. So the rear door harness plugs into the B post just here. So on the plug, you pull the top piece up and then that will release from the car harness. Now we've got both doors, we can assess all the pillars. As you can see, no damage at all. So we're happy now to fit the new doors. So that's the doors now fully on. We are happy with the gaps, but we might have to make some slight adjustments when we get the front end on, for example, that driver's front wing. Uh, we did put the new hinges on, we did that off camera, but both doors are opening and closing spot on as they should. I'll just get Pete to open and close the rear door. I am speaking over this as it was too windy. And as you can see, the front door the door's not stepping up or down. It is opening and closing very smoothly as it should. But can you see just here, we've got an issue. This rear quarter glass, can you see it doesn't fit the car? Because these two doors was off a saloon, Mercedes CLA saloon. I bet you're thinking, why you got doors for a saloon when you've got an estate? If you are new to this channel, I use a system called PartSync24 where you put the VIN number of the vehicle onto the system and it will show you all the parts for that car. So what I did, used our VIN for our estate and I used a VIN off a saloon and I compared all the parts. So on the rear door, the only difference was, was the glass and the quarter glass. The actual door skin was totally the same and the front door, everything was the same. The front window, the door skin, so it was a no-brainer for us to get two because we was looking for a rear door for an estate and there was like 600 quid just for one door in totally different colour, for example, red. We got these two two doors in colour. I think we paid five or six hundred pound. But yeah, I'll show you a little clip now on parts link how I found out both doors fitted. So we're going to uh, put the old door onto the panel stand now. So if you're new to the channel, I just thought I'd show you. This is PartSync24, the service I use. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to show you guys what I use. And PartSync24 is not a free service. You can either get a day subscription, week, month, or yearly. So basically, you've got all these car manufacturers to the left-hand side. I'm just going to scroll down 
there is a fair amount of car manufacturers. So basically this system, is, it's not just for UK because the system does not work on vehicle registration plates. It works off the vehicle VIN. So you could be in Australia, America, any part of Europe and use this service. So we're going to be using Mercedes today. You can see there's quite a few different Mercedes. If, uh, so for example, this one's for cars. You've got trucks, Unimogs is like vehicles that, for example, I work on the railway. We have some Mercedes vehicles that have normal wheels and they have wheels to go onto the rail. You've got vans and also, for example, BMW. You've got a normal BMW here. You've also got BMW Classic, which is like, for example, we've got an E30 on the channel, which is Pete's, what he's restoring. So I'm going to be going on to Mercedes and I'll just get the VIN number now. As you can see, you put the VIN number in this top left corner, then you click go. So I've just put the VIN in for our uh, Mercedes CLA estate. Also on here, it will show you all the, the actual bill dates, the delivery date, when the car first got registered, all the equipment the car got fitted to when it was made, engine numbers, paint codes, etc. So what I'm going to do now to try and make it a bit quicker, I don't want to bore all you lot. So I'm going to scroll down to body shell. We'll start with the front door. Click front door again, because this will then show you all the parts for the front door. So if I click front door, number 10 is the door skin itself. Obviously we need a driver's door. So that's the part number for the front driver's door. This price here is the retail price. So that is a plus VAT price of £485 plus 20% for a bare skin. So we've got the part number for the door skin. So now I'll go windows, front doors, front door window, number 10 again. So what I'm doing, I'm just showing you the part numbers for our VIN. So the right hand window, if I remember up there, really cheap, I thought, for main dealer, £58 plus VAT. That's the part number for the Alvin for the front door glass. Now on to the rear doors. So number 10 again, right rear door. That's the part number. And obviously the price plus VAT. Right, I won't video the part numbers for the rear glass because obviously, you know, the saloon door, the rear glass is totally different. So I'll just show you the part numbers for the front do door and window for a saloon and the rear door skin. So now I've got a VIN number for the same year, 2015 Mercedes CLA Coupe. I've been calling it a saloon because it's four doors, but yeah, it's a four door coupe. So now I'll just quickly show you how we found out it had the same same door skin. So if I go body shell again, so I'm just going to go right front doors, front doors again, number 10. As you can see, driver's front door, same part number. So I'm going to go on to windows now. We'll stay on the front door. Because we need to make sure... Well, as you know, the front driver's door window did get smashed. Front right, as you can see, part number is exactly the same, so it's a win-win. So we had a door skin, we had a glass, and it actually come with the power folding mirror with the door, which I think they sell for about anywhere from 150 to 300 second hand on eBay. So we'll now go on to the rear door skin. So rear doors, rear door again, right one, so number 10, right, there you go, same part number for the door skin. There's no point me showing you the rear glass because they are totally different. But now you know how we found out if this four-door coupe was the same as the estate, which obviously it was, it was just a rear glass that needed to be changed, which, you know, it was a really good bonus for me and Pete as... We managed to get two doors in colour. But this is how I normally find all the parts for my the vehicles we rebuild. Some parts are missing. You don't know what part part numbers are for the bits that are missing. So I use this system. Instead of ringing dealers up, you know, if I didn't buy the parts from them, I don't want to waste their time. I can do this at home. 
search the part numbers it gives me the retail prices so i can compare them to ebay so for example i think i've showed you sometimes let's say a washer bottle for a skoda fabia 50 pounds second hand on ebay and i see on here they're like 16 pound plus that so it's a, it's a no-brainer by genuine so this uh this software you know, it's really good so we've got the original damage door on the panel stand first thing we need to do is remove the door card which is quite easy on these mercedes you get a plastic pry tool to remove the silver trim that exposes two screws which is ones around about here and here they're t30 torx once you remove them the rest of the door cards held in with the plastic trim clips so we're going to get on time lapse now So that's both doors now fully installed. So as you know, we have converted a saloon rear door into an estate door, which luckily for us was just re replacing the glass. Obviously the little quarter glass just here. So it's all working correctly. That opens down when you open the door as they're pillarless. And then when you shut the door, it goes up. The silver trim on the driver's front door, we've got another one order because the original did get damaged because this car should be a black trim but yeah it's pr that's pretty much it for today's video um gaps wise we are happy but we might just do a few more adjustments when we do do the front end which will be next week's video i've just come inside the car because it was getting starting to get windy that's the only problem doing cars outside but yeah so that's the end of today's video fortunately it's not too long but Next week, we're going to be getting on with the front end, so taking off the old wings. I think we've only got to remove one because we've already done the passenger. Fit the new ones, headlights, bumper. Pretty much getting it ready for the body shop. So let us know in the comments what you think to today's video. And thank you for watching. If you did like today's video, smash that like button. If you are new to the channel, click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get a notification when we post a new video. So yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for watching.